That's the Criticom loading screen. That's probably going to be probably the best part of the game. Well, maybe this FMV. Oh, yeah, because Kronos thought there was super hot shit. So, so they made that logo. The Nazom and Zarai clans anointed themselves as the Chosen Ones, a self-proclamation spurred by the acquisition of an ancient relic that bestowed great powers upon its possessors. This is a fighting game for those that don't know. <laughs> Led by their emperor. Because you, you can't judge by the by the CG cutscene. This is like a Star Wars Phantom Menace like action shit action game on the PlayStation style. I'm starting to feel like most of most of the game's budget and time was spent on this. <laughs> you He's fucking doing his Hulk Hogan impression. And all, like a laser's gonna shoot out of these and all it's gonna do is like fry a sandwich. Like that's, it's gonna be used for some tiny little thing. Or destroy a, a whole city, like just nuke it. In the end, the Chosen Ones achieved compliance, if not obedience. <laughs> the years of ruthless supremacy that followed took its toll on the Emperor. In his old age, the dying Emperor entrusted the relic to its new heirs. A new era of peace and prosperity is about to begin, or so it seemed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> is there more? Because that, 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 that's your story of your fighting game, folks. This is often called the worst fighting game ever made. Certainly, like, the worst, like, fighting game ever made of a professional, like, retail standard, perhaps. Um, I played it maybe once at a friend's house when it was brand new, like, back in, like, 97, whenever this was. 95, actually. I think this was a PlayStation launch game. Anyway, I remember Max, Max streamed this, I believe. I think I'm gonna have to go with the dude that, uh, sent me a text earlier today. I've never played it. I don't know what I'm getting into. A few minutes later. Hey man, would you Get up! Get up! He did not have a good time, so so I will also similarly have a bad time. Wow, look at those 3D FX. Anyway, um, this is Exine. She is level one. I think. Yeah, it's the military girl. It looks terrible. Uh, this is Delara. She looks like a pirate. That's like a little bit better for 90s game standards. Here's our boy though. Though Here's the Ryu of the game, Gorm. There's Yenji. I saw her in the, the demo. That looks pretty cool. Got like dumb cyber claws. I, I'm always down with dumb cyber claws. Sid. I, I can't really tell much about the character. It looks like he has a bulbous head and a big crotch plate. The way that they handled this this select screen, it's hard. Anyway, this is Dayton. <laughs> He's the Ken. He's the Cobra of the group. Demonica. This is a chick in a bikini. And she's got dirty, dirty feet. Wait, wait, wait. She got hooves? Uh, and then we have Sonork. It sounds like like a noise. Like, it's Sonork. Like, that's so bad. Out of everyone, I think I'll start with the best or the coolest looking character called with Yenji and see how that goes. Yenji, survivor of the Great War, witnessed the murder of her family by the Chosen Ones. She has devoted her life and ending their reign. Those claws are kind of cool. I like Predator claws. Those titties are pretty good. They're like Predator titties. <laughs> I do appreciate little little cutscenes like that for to establish a character. Oh, a mirror. Good stuff. I'm excited. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, hold on. I just pressed two buttons and that felt like the worst thing ever. That um, this was the first game in Kronos' fighting game history. And it's the first in, like, kind of a series. It, Dark Rift is the sequel to this game. That was actually kind of cool. Um, it takes a lot of the same art style and two of the characters, two or three of them. But they're not real sequels because they didn't call it the same because they knew no one would want to have 
I, I, it's really weird because it said in the control scheme that R1 and R2 were, were the special moves, but there's no special moves coming out. This feels so shitty. I can't even, I can't even express. Is there not a throw? <laughs> it's one round? Jesus. Okay. I will try to commence battle. I get a slight, a very slight feeling of Virtual Fighter with the moon jumps and also the, the stomps. So there, there, that's that's something. I, I don't know if that's something, but... How? How am I hitting with that move and then it does almost no damage? Wait, do I have multiple life bars? Is that the deal? And I can't express like what's happening there with... I didn't... The camera is not keeping up with the position of the characters, therefore the the direction that you need to block in starts to change. In which case you should have had a block button. That's why it's useful in a fighting game with 3D space. I mean, this is fighting game 101, guys. My only hope is that like the the AI will get a uh, ring out. But I I don't think it will. Get up! <laughs> she just wouldn't get up. It's weird. I, I, there's not a whole lot to say. I'm actually confused about who has the most life. Oh my god. Player two, let, let us let us take another character. While well, we can watch another like really short video clip of whoever, uh, let's, let's, let's go with Sid. With the product of a twisted experiment gone wrong. The sentient integrated droids wander aimlessly, destroying all carbon-based life forms. So he hates meat bags. He's got a Yeti head! That's not bad, actually. I can't hate that. So yeah, um I, I don't know if this will go any better. Oh my god. It's not gonna get better, is it? Is there no music in this game, I just realized? Except for the, the clips that we saw. Get up! Get up! I, d I don't understand anything that's happening. That's a special move, maybe. Maybe I can just chip her out. No, I can't. Oh my god. It's my destiny. Player two, triumphs. So when I played Dark Rift back in the day, um, on my on my beloved Nintendo Ultra 64, I, I liked it quite a bit. I thought it had a neat soundtrack, a neat vibe. Um, not all, but some of the characters were cool. Aaron Maverick, um, uh, God, there's this samurai guy, like a cyborg samurai who's cool. Uh, and Gorn is in there as well. There, there are a couple characters that I remember. Morphix, Morphix was awesome. Um, this is, th this is similar, but terrible. I so, turn this down, but I'm assuming this is the only way I can beat someone. All right, 16 more seconds of this. Because it's only one round. I guess they... Oh! No! No, no, no! Run away, run away! Yeah! Sid of default victories. Oh, weird. You could you could swap out characters after a match. It's kind of cool. I even forget this character's name, Exine. I don't understand how special moves work because in in the configuration of the options, it said it was R1 and R2, and I've been pressing R1 and R2, and I can sometimes get a move, but it's unclear. So I might as well talk about it now. From what research I've done on Criticom, because it is in a lot of lists of like worst game of all time or a fighting game at the very least. So I read that this was supposed to be a completely different game. Maybe still a fighting game, but a, a different game was going to have a license. And it was supposed to be a comic book license, right? And I'm very intrigued by this story. They, the license was was pulled away from the team, like the, the, the project was like moved somewhere else. And it was supposed to be for Sony. It was supposed to be a first party Sony licensed game and uh, Kronos were 
uh, tasked with adapting it. Who's your daddy? I don't know who my daddy is. I'm 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 a cyborg. I don't I, you know I don't really have one. Anyway, uh, since that got pulled out from under the rug, the license Chronos then didn't have a game to work on, and they're like, well, shit, we have to have something ready for the launch of the PlayStation. So they threw this game together, and I I read reportedly like four five months, maybe four months. It was something like five months. And then they were like, this is the best we can do. Now, the the um, uh, publisher of, of this game, I, uh, Vic Tokai, I, I, I think that was Vic Tokai. They said, yeah, sure, we want, we just want a product out for the PlayStation launch in North America. We don't, we don't really care, just do whatever. And whatever they did make. I have a theory that that comic book license that they had got turned into Spawn the Eternal on the PlayStation. Cause the time frame more or less works out. Spawn came out in 1997 when it was all said and done. Uh, and this came out in 95, at the end of 95. And Spawn the Eternal is a PlayStation first party game. It was made by like 989 Studios or, or some other developer, but Sony actually published it. Like they were the main publisher. So was there a Spawn fighting game plus the fighting element of Spawn the Eternal is a fighting game. Whenever you, you fight an enemy in that game, uh, it turns into like a one-on-one -on -one fighter style situation. So I'm very intrigued by this. Unfortunately, I can't corroborate it for sure. Uh, unfortunately, the guy that gave all this information, um, he, he was the head of Kronos Digital Interactive and unfortunately he died a few years back. Uh, but he, before he did, he gave an interview saying that's 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 the deal. That's why Criticom wound up being the way it, it, it did. Um, and since then, Kronos made better games. Dark Rift is better than this, obviously. Cardinal Sin is, is better than this. Um, and then their other games, Fear Effect. Remember the Fear Effect series? They were behind those. Those are way better than this. Oh, fuck it. Let's go into Monica. Demonica is a creature from an unknown realm. It is a mystery why she is here. This looks like the intro for, for an OS. <laughs> oh, amazing. Demonica is in Dark Rift, and she's very different level. She's way more demonic. Uh, it's just sexy, broad, with like metal nipple covers, you know, and a weird vampire face. But that's about it. <sighs> oh my god, I'm I'm playing more of this. I'm playing more. Oh god, now I feel especially bad. That I'm I. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this shit. Okay, if I hit her a couple of times, I might be actually be able to win just by dodging for the rest of the round, but I can't seem to because I'm, you know, I'm very, very, very aware. I'm not the best um, fighting game player in the world. So I'm very aware of that, but like, you know, Justin Wong plays like random fighting games on his channel sometimes. Someone tell, <laughs> someone to tell him to play this because I, I I think I've played worse like Steam only garbage that someone just shits out. I think I've played definitely played worse fighting games there. But of like actual licensed games that like came out, like this might be the worst thing I've ever played. It really is. So I hit her once, but I think that's about all I'm gonna get. I'm 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 gonna keep doing this, just zipping around her in slow motion. And I'll check back with you in the edit to see if this worked. Maybe you can fast forward all this footage by like, t oh fuck. Shit! Yeah! Player 
one triumphs. So she did nick me once, but that's a totally valid strategy. This is so weird that it boots me back. Like, is there an arcade ladder or not? Because can I continue to fight while switching out characters? Let's let's take Dayton, Dayton, Ohio. Dayton Trent, a soldier of fortune. He will soon embark on the greatest treasure hunt of all time. <laughs> Oh my god, what a VR trooper. Dayton, Ohio over here does remind me a lot of Aaron Maverick. Aaron Maverick's way cooler because his name is Aaron Maverick. Holy shit, look at this fucking Dorcas. What a waffle of a man. Holy shit, did you see that DP? That's a hard knockdown. That moves so good. So now if I just do this, this seems to work no matter what, what character you take. We're figuring out the tech! Oh fuck. Oh, no we're not! No! no! All right, I'll take my boy Gorm. I think, I think in Dark Rift his name is Gorn, but I'm not 100% on that. No, it's Gore! Oh, it's because they love this Shrek motherfucker and then they're just like, mm, but we gotta change his name because people might think this is this is Criticom, too. We, we can't think that. Gorm, the mightiest of the Dorlons. His king sent him on Dorlons. a noble mission to retrieve the relic in hopes of saving their dying race. Looks like Killer Croc. A light way lamer. He's wearing like this big onesie. Like it's not good. Like it's 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 shit gear. Wow. Riveting. <laughs> you better do something cool like piss off the edge of a cliff or something. Wow, that was the worst one. What? Girl! Holy shit! Holy shit! I can't see anything! Oh my god. Like, it's it's very clear that they spent, like, all the time and all the energy on the world building, the characters, like, in terms of their uh, fleshing them out with little bits of story and the CG cutscenes and almost none on the fighting engine. Like, I know it was really early in the PlayStation's life, like, the launch period, but like, Toshinden was a launch game, and that plays infinitely better than this. Oh my god. Imagine an intergalactic fighting tournament for the whatever it is, I don't know. That that opening FMV was also really, really not detailed enough, but it also had way too much detail. There's no one in the comments that can be like, you're playing it wrong, Criticom is actually really a no. There is none. And that doesn't count if you somehow played it as a kid and you were like, oh, I have really good nostalgic memories. No, it has to be that like you played it recently. I actually won legit, which is really surprising. There's no one in the comments. If you come at me with that shit, get prepared to, to take these hands, man. This feels so bad. I do have a few more characters picked just because I want to see their, their dumb CG intro. Oh, well, this stage sucks. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> now, she did a throw to me earlier, but, like, I cannot figure out for the life of me on how to do a throw. Uh, just kill me. Now I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> Please. I'm already suffering emotionally. Oh, yeah. All right, we've seen Gorm. We've seen Yenji. We've seen Sid. Uh, Dayton. We've seen Demonica. Uh, I mean, I think I was talking during Sonorx. So I just don't remember it. Uh, we have not seen Xene. We've not seen Dolara. So let's take Xene. Sonorx, 
Sergeant Exine Delay travels from a worn torn planet in search of a relic that will save the world. Yeah, it's a good thing the spacesuit allows for the titties. Uh huh. Then what? Oh, that's it. Okay. Look at these two idiots. Look at this fighting game. If you can call it that. Like, and it's so bizarre that it can't just be like Street Fighter motions for special moves. It's just this. Like, I guess they were into Virtual Fighter and and they're trying to go for a button input method like that. But I, I still can't be sure. I don't know, man. Like, if I could even describe, it does not feel good to hit things in this fighting game, which is kind of a big problem. All right, that's it. Bye. <laughs> All right, here's De Delara, Delilah. Delara of the Zorai clan was destined for the throne. Failed in her duties to protect the relic, she vowed <laughs> vengeance on the one who stole her honor and destiny. No! That was the best. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't remember Sonorx at all. Did I, was I talking like an idiot? Oh, with the flying peach, the big butt stomp. That's Sonorx. That's his alien way. You know what? Fuck it. Just, just for completionist's sake, I want to make sure I, I didn't miss out on Sonora because I know we've seen everyone else's, but now it's like I feel like I I, I just want to be sure. The last thing you want when you're making a video like this is like everyone telling you, no, you missed it, idiot, or you like skipped it. So I don't want to, I don't want that to happen. Sonark Nazo, his older brother was heir to the throne of Emperor. Seeing an opportunity to seize the throne for himself, Sonark <laughs> murdered his own flesh and blood. Wow, that was fast, and I don't remember it. Maybe, you know, whatever. This is, like, the worst Protoss ever in a steel diaper, baby. Like, no, it's not for me. Commence battle. I, I'm gonna, like, press That's one. What is with this voice? Why? Who decided this was okay? That's it. That's it. I'm ending it all. That's your intimidating guy that, like, stole the artifact and killed his own flesh and blood? I'm done. That is Criticom. It is the worst, like, I, I kind of was, was trying to detail before, it is the worst fighting game I think I've ever actually played, which is amazing to me. It's actually, like, that's an incredible feat to be the one. You know, uh, if anyone can help me dig up some information, like confirmation or otherwise, of that Criticom was a spawn game narrative, I, I would love to get something, like an extra detail or two, because it's the only thing that makes sense in, in my head about how, how bad this, this turned out to be. Um, any other really terrible PlayStation fighting games I can play for you, let me know in the comments, and I'll see what I... But I'm not coming back to this. I'm not... This, this one's done.